The CNMC's Wheat School is brought to you by Bear Crop Science. Peter, what's the difference between fusarium and vomitoxin? So vomitoxin is the toxin that actually comes out of the grain uh, when, you, when you process it. Fusarium is the disease that, that produces the vomitoxin, but it's not the fusarium that causes a problem when, when you process that, when you eat it. It's the toxin. We actually call it vomitoxin because that's what it makes you do. It makes you vomit. So that's why it is called vomitoxin. Uh, you can't have vomitoxin without fusarium, but you can have fusarium without vomitoxin. So there, there is a cause and effect relationship, but it's certainly not a one-to-one -one relationship. So when, we're, when we take our grain to the elevator, or wheat to the elevator, and they're testing for fusarium and vomitoxin, um, what, how is a farmer, you know, there's a, I'm hearing a lot of stuff from farmers saying that, oh yeah, they're just grading it higher now because they want to give discounts and stuff like that, but it's not really, that's not really the, the case. Like no, so, so I mean, as, as I suggested before, it's very subjective, so it's hard to grade. It's not an objective test. Testing for vomitoxin is objective. That means that, that I can't bias the results. You grind the sample up, you extract the toxin, and the chemical test tells you that it's whatever, two parts per million, three parts per million. Whereas when I grade it uh, for fusarium damage, that's a visual grading system where I need to look at, at and sort out which ones are pink, which ones aren't pink, which ones, you know, and it's very tough because some of those kernels may well look like fusarium, but it might be a mildew problem, and so it's just not an easy thing. The challenge then becomes, well, why does the elevator grade visually on fusarium dam damaged kernels on fusarium damage rather than just do the toxin test? And the problem with that is that the toxin test is not fast enough. So you pull up to the pit, or your next one in line at the pit, and they're lined up back to the road, and it takes us 20 minutes to run a toxin analysis. Well, that truck cannot sit there for 20 minutes and hold everybody else up for 20 minutes. So the whole grading system has, has evolved based on visual fusarium. And on average, visual fusarium is a good test because with soft white wheat, 1% fusarium damage kernels is the equivalent on average of two parts per million toxin, which is basically the cutoff. In red wheat, uh, because the, the red bran, there's chemicals in the red bran that actually reduce the amount of toxin produced. So in red wheat, that relationship is 1.5% fusarium damage kernels equals two parts per million vomitoxin. So visually, we can rate very quickly, takes us a minute to do that count, and we don't hold up the people delivering the grain, the combines can keep rolling. So the whole system evolved based on, on basically this ratio. The challenge, of course, is that that ratio works on average. I like best uh, to describe averages the, the way my friend Nick, Nick first told me. He says, yes, averages are stick your head in the oven, your feet in the freezer, on average you're comfortable. And averages really do kind of take out the, the outliers that, that often exist. So you might, might well have wheat that has 3% fusarium damage but it might only be one part per million for toxin and, and still make a good milling product. Or you may have wheat that's only half a, a percent of fusarium and still break that two part per million toxin. When we can get to the point where we can do toxin analysis in a minute and be accurate, then realistically the visual grading system will disappear. But that, that will evolve over time and we're just not there yet.